Ladybugs are one of my favorite insects and their life cycle is very interesting to watch in your garden. Now you don't have to buy ladybugs. If you have your garden maintained organically and you're not using a lot of pesticides, you should have plenty of ladybugs in your garden. But it is important to have some aphids, their favorite food source. Ladybug will, will mate and lay their eggs on the underside of leaves where there's a good food supply for the larva. So leave a few plants in your garden, maybe some lettuce, some bok choy, some greens that are stressed from the spring heat, and those plants will become your host plants for ladybugs. Now the, the eggs are laid in clusters on the underside of leaves, so you want to check and examine leaves before you take them into the kitchen. Also, often I found them on the underside of mint leaves or lettuce leaves as I'm harvesting things to take inside. So if I see those yellow uh, jelly bean like eggs on the underside of the leaves, I make sure and leave those in the garden. They uh, lay their eggs on the underside of the leaves to protect the eggs from predators. Sometimes the eggs will not be fertile. Uh, some of the eggs will not be fertile and that allows the newly hatched ladybug larva to eat the unfertilized eggs and have an instant food source. But they'll start crawling all over the plants and devouring insects. Again, aphids are their, their favorite, but they'll also eat mites and mealy bugs and scale and many other insects in the garden. And the larva are very uh, uh, hungry and eating constantly. So so they have to um, shed their skin several times during the larval stage. And the larvae look like little crocodiles. They're black and orange. They start out small and then they'll split and shed their skin. And so you'll see little black uh, skins on the underside of leaves. And uh, then they'll finally uh, become a pupa. So that larva will f attach itself to the underside of a leaf again and will pupate and stay in the pupal stage for several more days and then hatch out as an adult lady beetle. And the uh, adults will be a lighter color when they first hatch and the shell will hardened. They're very susceptible to predators at that time, so they usually stay hidden. But the shell hardens and darkens, and then they develop the spots, and they become the adult lady beetles that we all know. It's a good idea also to leave some plants in your garden to bloom because the adult ladybugs like nectar flowers. So I like to leave some parsley, some cilantro, dill, all of the members of the umbilifera family uh, are great nectar sources for the ladybugs and give them a little bit of a sprinkle in the mornings if the weather is dry because they appreciate some moisture on the foliage of your plants. But you don't have to uh, purchase ladybugs. If you have the right uh, sources in your garden for the, the adults to have the nectar and a good food source of aphids for the larva. Uh, there is a weed that grows quite commonly in the spring called the sow thistle and it's usually filled with uh, aphids and so I sometimes leave a few of those in the garden. You can pull the flowers off if you're worried about it going to seed, but that becomes a great food source for ladybugs. So as long as you have the right uh, uh, ingredients in your garden, you'll have lots of these wonderful creatures and they're just really fun to watch in the garden.